Okay, you guys, you ready for the first ever woodworking summer jam? I wanted to tell you about this right here at the start of this video so you can just click away and not have to sit through all the, the boring stuff that's gonna be in the rest of this video. The woodworking summer jam is an exhibition of your woodworking projects. You have three days, maybe a little bit more, to make something related to the theme, heat wave. You can interpret that however you like. Maybe maybe you wanna make something for barbecuing or something for the kitchen. Maybe maybe when you think of a heat wave, you think about cooling off in a pool, something for that. Or, or maybe you find the wave part interesting and wanna make an ocean or a beach themed art project. Hey, how about trying out some wood burning or shushugi bun? I don't know if I said that right. The fun of this is just gonna be to see all the different ways people interpret the theme. Again, this is just for fun. It's not a competition, please. No wagering. So after you've completed your project, just upload a picture to a Google Photos folder that I've set up. Assuming you have a Google account, you um, you probably already do if you have a YouTube account, then you just click on the description in the, click on the link that I've put in the description of this video and you'll be able to upload your picture. That just takes you right to that folder. Also, you'll be able to leave a comment on your photo. So please introduce yourself, describe your project to us and how it says heat wave to you. And you'll be able to comment on other people's photos and you can congratulate them. Just, just be excellent to each other. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to overcomplicate this. I'll, I'll turn off that uploading feature to that folder on Monday morning sometime. I don't know when. But I th I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll still be able to view everybody's projects on there. You just, you just won't be able to upload anything anymore. I set up a separate Google account just for this and I think Google Photos allows like 15 gigabytes of photos. So that, that should be more than enough. The other thing is I really want to see what you can make this weekend in one single weekend. So please Try to stay within the spirit of this and not just upload pictures of an old project that you've already made. I mean, I think we can all agree this has just been such a weird summer and it, the idea here is just to give us all something to, something fun to focus on and just to make this a cool weekend. So, get started now, start building. <laughs> I'm making the first platform that goes from inside the cabin to outside on the wall. I'm cutting out this shape in a single piece of plywood. I'm using my table saw to keep these cuts as straight as possible. I've raised the blade up really high since these are stop cuts just so I can avoid a lot of that curvature from the blade. And then I'll finish up the cuts using my jigsaw. I'm gonna put a short raised edge banding on all of these runway pieces. Just that little bit of raised area seems to give the cats a lot more confidence on these narrow platforms. Hey, it was really nice to read a lot of your comments from the video the other day where I showed that little sculpture that was my grandfather's and talked about his telegraph career. But I heard from so many of you who told me that, that Morse code is still alive and there's still a lot of people using the telegraph and that they're still used in ham radio, people use Morse code and then there's some other, other uses for it. But anyways, I found my grandpa's bug and I thought it'd be fun to show it to you. First of all, my grandfather loved to paint messages on on everything. This is the box that he kept his bug in. It still smells like my grandpa's basement. But I love that on the back here he wrote, dangerous, ferocious insect, high explosive, stay back. And then on this side he has another message and I, th I get the feeling that to be a telegraph operator, you were kind of part of a, a brotherhood or a fraternity. So he, he wrote on here, Ra, 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 who are we? We are knights of the telegraph key. We eat steak while others eat hash. Three dots, four dots, two dots, dash. All right, so this is the bug here. Again, he wrote all kinds of stuff on just every space available. And I, he, if I remember right, this would just sit here. And then he had like a six volt battery. Maybe it was over here or something that he would use to power this thing. I've tried hooking this up, but I don't know how to hook it up. I wish somebody, I wish I could get a hold of somebody who could help me hook this up. It'd be great to hear this again. But this one operates this way. And then he's got a separate one here that does the, you know, the regular way. And this is what it sounded like. 
he made this special enclosure for it. I think that's just for you to be able to hear what you were doing. It had this kind of wobbly action like that. And I think that's kind of like a drumstick, how you could do it faster by just drrr, drrr, multiple taps and it would go back and forth. It has a different adjustments here kind of to adjust the, the weight on it. And these are the two terminals that hook it up to the battery. And I think this was my grandpa's logo that he, he came up with for himself. And then all sorts of writing. I think there's a lot of inside jokes here. And there's a lot of stuff about Popeye on here. Here's some stuff in Morse code over here. And just every little bit of this, he would cover up with writing. Pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> for those of you interested, this is the improved Vibroplex. The A to Z electric novelty company. It's got a stamp number, serial number on there, Chicago, Illinois. I just love how cool that looks though. <laughs> I'm not sure why he kept this one on here. Maybe if he was going too fast with this and somebody told him to slow down, he would use that. Cause I always, I always remember him using this one, but. I just, I love that sound. It's got these two things and I have no idea what these are for. But I can remember like it was yesterday, my grandpa walking around, maybe he was in his workshop and he would just be tapping out code and I never knew what he was saying, but I just thought it was really neat. And my grandmother used to tell this story that when she was dating my grandfather, I guess he was like in 20 or something, and he, they went on a double date with another telegrapher, a friend of his, and the, the two of them would sit up opposite of the table and they would tap out messages to each other and the, the girlfriends didn't know what they were talking about. I'm kind of thinking I don't really need to have my wife make that hem along these cut edges of this one since there's just gonna be kind of stuffed down in there. They're not gonna be on a visible edge like the other ones were. So I really think just a couple of cleats just like these should hold it with screws in those rather than having to put brackets out here. Cats don't weigh that much and I'm using solid wood for these cleats this time instead of the plywood. So I'll put one here and then I'll put one over here that probably needs to be anchored into the wall. Okay, that's plenty strong on there. Of course, a big consideration we had and we discussed was this point here. And is it going to be, you know, hit you in the face? Well, so what we decided to do is kind of a compromise is we're gonna make it this height because my, my wife is like super short. And so she's like down to here. So, so she'll be able to just walk right underneath that. And I, I don't come around this way too much, but you know, I'll just have to be careful. I'll just live life on the edge. If I do hit myself there, you know what I can do is just put a little, uh, like a bumper on there like they do for toddlers, you know? The rest of them shouldn't be bad because they're just all gonna go up there. So it just adds a little bit of drama to the house. I don't think you're supposed to be climbing up the screen. Are you supposed to be doing that? <laughs> huh? I, I think we had a talk about this, didn't we? 